Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we'll be talking about equations you will never use. That's right, we're talking about the volume of a cone, a sphere, and a cylinder. That's what we're going to be doing today. These equations are kind of rarely used. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. In every case, you'll be given the equation. You won't be expected to memorize these equations. Um, you just plug in the information that you are asked for. All right. This, by the way, is supposed to be a nice sphere. And you will do great. So while this isn't something practical or something that you'll need to memorize, it is good practice for substituting. And substituting is when you're given a value and you plug it into an equation in place of a variable. So let's go ahead and do some practice. Here is our first solid figure. Find the volume of this cone. So imagine it was an ice cream cone flipped upside down. How much ice cream can I fit inside it? That's the question here. All right. So here's the equation. Volume is a third pi r squared h. Notice this part of the equation, pi r squared, is an area of a circle equation. It's asking for the area of that circle. So sometimes you'll be given the area of that, and if that's the case, you would just say one-third times the area times the height. But in this case, we're given the radius of 3 centimeters, so we're going to plug that in, and a height of 13 centimeters, so we plug that in. Do some quick multiplying. 3 squared is 9. And now 9 times 13 times a third gives us 39 pi cubic or um, yeah cubic centimeters. Now that's the exact volume. What we are going to do is multiply times 3.14 to get an approximate volume of 122.46 cubic centimeters. Find the volume of a cylinder. Our volume is pi r squared times h. In other words, the area of the circle times the height of the cylinder. Let's plug it in. In this case, our radius is 12. So we plug that in 12 for radius. And our height is the distance between the two circles. And that is 28. 12 squared is 144. 144 times 28 is 4,032. Now we have the exact volume. The volume is 4,032 pi cubic feet. Now nobody ever talks that way, so we're going to plug in 3.14 as our approximate value of pi. So 4,032 times 3.14 gives us an approximate volume of 12,660.48 cubic feet. Let's do it with a bouncy ball. All right, find the volume of this sphere. We're going to do it in a sort of spherical way, just to make things fun. So with the volume of a, of a sphere, all you need is one variable, and that's the radius of the sphere. That's the distance from the center to any given point in all three dimensions. In this case, it's given as 6 meters. So I plug that in. 6 to the power of 3 is 216. Let's work our way around the sphere here. 4 thirds times 216 gives us 288 pi cubic meters. Now, that's the exact volume. Our approximate volume is 288 times 3.14, which will give us 904.32 cubic meters as our approximate volume. There you have it, volume of a cone, sphere, and cylinder with all the equations. You'll be provided the equations, so you don't need to memorize them. You mainly need to be able to locate the radius and the height, and you'll be able to solve these. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Here is your Common Core Anchor and your Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania eligible content. Have a great day.